All right, so in this video, we're going to try to denoise some of President Trump's on-the-spot press conference. Let's go ahead and look at the issue that we have. So when he's here um, outside of either the aircraft or one of his helicopters, the gas turbine engine in the background always has a high-pitched whine to it, and it's rather distracting to listen to, so I'll give you a sample real quick. Put out a statement talking about a project which was essentially, I guess, more or less of an option that we were looking at. So that high pitch whine uh, is going to be at a certain frequency. We're going to target that frequency with a filter and remove it to where the video is more pleasant to watch. So to do that, we're first going to have to analyze the video and find out what, what at what frequency is a high pitch whine occurring at. And to do that, we're going to apply a Fourier transform first. Um, what I've gone ahead and done is taken the video, extracted the audio out of it, and saved that as a file called Fox Raw. And what we're gonna do is take that file that is an audio file and it's in the time domain. When we apply the Fourier transform to it, it's gonna take it and transform it into the frequency domain so that we can see at what frequency that high pitch whine is occurring. All right, so here we have uh, a good demonstration of where this is occurring. We've got a large spike over here. Looks to be about 700 hertz maybe. Let's zoom in, so no, 7,000. Um, so this is gonna be where that aircraft or helicopter is coming from, where it's just sitting there spooling. So if we target this region, it'll take out that high pitch whine. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to take out the other noises of the aircraft. And the reason for that is we have some of it occurring over here, like these spikes, but a large portion of it's actually in the lower frequencies also. And if we were to wipe that out, we'd be affecting President Trump's voice. All this right here, so, um, between 250 hertz all the way up to four to 5,000, you have components of President Trump's voice talking, so you don't really want to affect those, but we'll definitely get that high pitch whine out. So we need to design a filter first. We're gonna use a graphical user interface within MATLAB to do that real quick. And it's called Filter Designer. And so given we're dealing with a frequency at 7,000 hertz, we're gonna use a low pass filter and we'll probably target it about four or 5,000, let everything pass up to four or 5,000 hertz. And then after that, it's gonna completely remove it. So our sampling rate, which I have over here, as you can see, um, MATLAB's analyzed it that it's at 44,100, which is like uh, the sampling rate of a CD-ROM. Fox News tends to record in the sampling rate, either that or somehow the format's just stored as that. Uh, another common one is 48,000. That's why that's already in here. So your filter needs to match your sampling rate, otherwise it's not gonna be implemented correctly. And let's go ahead and do 4,000. So we'll design it. You'll see here about at 4,000, it starts significantly taking down the magnitude. And we'll export this as a function. So generate MATLAB code, filter design function. And we'll say, it's gonna be low pass. I already have one saved as low pass 4K. So we'll go ahead and replace that one. All right, so this is a function now and within this, you're gonna have the sampling rate, um, the, uh, what was this called? So the, uh, the spe to be able to specify the order, this is gonna affect your transition band for how long it takes to actually transition to the point that you're desiring. I just have it set at 100 and then 4,000 is where it's going to be cutting off at, and then here's the actual metrics down below for implementing that filter. The only thing this function's lacking is in, uh, is ending it, so we'll go ahead and type in end. We'll copy it and come back to our main file. 
which I haven't talked about yet. And we're gonna plant it at the end, functions go at the end, otherwise you'll get an error. So what we have here, we have the audio file being read, which is Fox raw, and it's outputting two output arguments. One of them is being the sampling rate, and the other one's just gonna be the samples of the audio file. So let's go ahead and clear up my workspace, and we'll take a look. So these two things here, we have our sampling rate, 44,100, and then this data in is all the samples of the audio file, and there's a total of 451,000 of them, and that's what makes up our audio file that we're actually gonna be filtering. So that's gonna come into this filter option here, and it's gonna output as data, data output one, and we're gonna say, hey, MATLAB filter, we're gonna use our filter, which we called low pass 4K. I'm getting that from down here. That's what this is called. The, the function HD equals this. That's the name of the filter. We're implementing it by using the filter command and it's gonna be occurring on data in one, which is all of our samples that I showed you before. So it's gonna apply this filter to this data and it's gonna output a new set of data that no longer has those frequencies as data out one. And so when we do that, before we save a new audio file, we can go ahead and listen to it to see if the high pitch whine is gone or not. So let's go ahead and listen. So Michael Cohn has made many statements to the House, as I understand it, and the Senate. He put out a statement. All right, so I think it's gone, but let's go ahead and listen to what it once sounded like. Michael Cohn has made many statements to the House, as I understand it. All right, so big difference. Let's go ahead and get a visual demonstration. Let's look at what it once sounded like before, uh, or at least on the Fourier transform, we had the frequency at 7,000 over here, and we wanted that gone, and we set our filter, I think, at 5,000 to wipe that out. We could have also used, just for this region, we could use like a band stop filter or a notch filter, but we have other components of the high pitch one that's also occurring past, you know, 8,000, so we might as well just wipe it all out at the same time. So to do that, I have a second file here for the FOIL transform filtered. I need to, what did I save that file as, Fox raw. So in order to actually analyze the new one, I should save it as a new audio file. So we're gonna have this command called audio write, I already have this all written out to save time and we'll say we'll call it fox filtered and it's going to be taking not dead out two because we're only using one filter it's going to be taking the information from data out one and then the sampling rate and it's going to save it as a new file so i'm going to cut this off right as it plays i should have made that a comment all right, so that's a file now as Fox filtered. Come over here. It is called Fox filtered. And let's go ahead and see what it looks like. All right, so as you'll see here, we still have the important portions of his frequency still laying around on the left. And then everything past 4000 with a small little transition band um, is gone. So we achieved what we wanted, and that's why you no longer hear that high pitch whine that was occurring at 7,000 hertz. So it's gone, and what we could do now is merge these files back together. So here I have the original file. Let's go ahead and unlink the old audio and get rid of it. Then we could take our new file in, which we saved as Fox filtered. Put it in place and let's see how it sounds all right so yeah so then i could save this file and then upload it i think this is actually something that fox news should be doing uh to clean up their audio i know that they like to do these things live and stuff so that's nobody's practical but when they replay this later on it would, it would make it make it a lot more 
pleasurable to listen to if they did that. Um, other than that, that was really quick. I didn't want this to be a really long video. Uh, just a quick demonstration of what we can do in a real world application with MATLAB filtering with the graphical user interface tool filter designer.